Today's uh, scripture reading will be coming from Numbers chapter 13, verse 30, and Numbers 14, verses 6 through 9. Pastor Ash has been talking about fight for it. And I've been hearing the Lord say, fight for it. Fight for your destiny. Fight for your purpose. Fight for your family. Fight for your husband. Fight for your son. Fight for your daughter. Fight for it. Whatever God has promised you, whatever God has told you, fight for it. Fight for the land. Fight for your community. Fight for your children. Fight for their school. Fight for it. Numbers chapter 13, verse 30. It reads, But Caleb tried to quiet the people as they stood before Moses. Let's go at once to take the land. He said, We can surely conquer it. He believed. He had faith. And then in Numbers 14, uh, chapter 14, verse 6, it reads, Two of the men who had explored the land, Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephethneth, tore their clothing. They said to all the people of Israel, The land we traveled through and explored is wonderful land. And if the Lord is pleased with us, He will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is rich land flowing with milk and honey. Do not rebel against the Lord and don't be afraid of the people of the land. They are only helpless prey to us. They have no protection, but the Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. That is the reading of the word. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you, dear Lord, for this Sunday morning. We thank you, God, because you are a mighty God. That you go before us, dear Lord. That you, you are Lord. have already given us victory through your son, Jesus Christ. You, Jesus. And as we thank gather you, together this morning, Father God, thank we you, come Lord. to glorify your name. We come to worship yeah. you. We come to magnify you. We come to adore you. We come to let you know, God, that we love you. We love you for who you are. We love you for what you've done for us. We love you, dear Lord, because you are the king. Keeper. In Joshua 1, God, you said you will never leave us or yes, forsake yes. us. Your word says to be strong and courageous. Yes. So, Father, today as we come before yes, you, we yes. pray over your people yes. that they are strong and courageous, dear Lord. Yes. That they mount up with wings as eagles. Yes, that they run and not grow you, weary, Lord. God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you because thank you, you give us the strength to do it. God, thank quicken you, their inner man yes, and right now, expound on their belief oh God because we know that without faith it is impossible to please you so God we thank you for that measure of faith that brings in miracles that allow miracles to work that allow Father God for you to have your perfect way that make the blind to see and the lame to walk oh God we come today expecting great from you we come today expecting your anointing and expecting your Holy Spirit to flow and to move on today let us not leave this building the same way we came in God let us leave with an experience and an encounter from you in Jesus name amen Say hey. 
it with me. Our God is champion. Is champion. He reigns. He reigns forevermore. My God. Forevermore. Come on, our God. Our God is champion. Our God is champion. He reigns forevermore. 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 One more time. Our God. Our God. Our God. Hallelujah. Is champion. I'll still be moved. Strongholds are still being loose. Say, God, we believe. God, we believe. Yes, we can see. The wonders are still what you do. Say, bodies are still being raised. And bodies are still being raised. Giants, Giants are still being slain. God, we believe, hey. yes, we can see, the wonders are still what you do. We are here. We are here for you. Come and do what you do.
miracles happen when you Miracles happen 
miracles happen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven is coming. As we're singing this song, and every time I close my eyes, I see, I see someone laying on a surgery bed. And I can see the scapula open in the, in the, in the surgeon's hand, and, and he's beginning to open up the heart. And the heart begins to open up, and he's beginning to perform surgery. And I just see that in the spirit right now as we're singing the song that God is going in performing heart surgery on those that are broken right now, those that are in need healing right now, those that are in need right now of Jesus. He said, just let me do what I do yes. right now in the name of Jesus. He's trying to perform open heart surgery on you right now in the name of Jesus. He's trying to fix it. Yes, Lord. He's trying to fix it. You are a full code. You are not a DNR. Hallelujah. We will not let you die. Once upon a time, we said, not on my watch. Hallelujah. Whatever we need to do. Sometimes we move a little too fast and we don't let the spirit have its way in this place. But right now, if you just get past yourself and get the healing that you need right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, say it. Oh, deliverance right now, Jesus. Oh, show you God said you've been doing it yourself for way too long. Just let me have my way. Let me do it. So let me work on you. Let me fix you in the name of Jesus. If you feel broken, God says, I got you just where I need you, just so I can build you up. I got you into tiny pieces just so I can put you together. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just 
was speaking to each and every one of us at the same time with the same word. Hallelujah. God is, he's amazing. Woo, hey. He says, I'm trying to do some new things in you. Oh, Jesus. this little time here and uh i just feel like some people need to be ministered to just need some prayer yes. god healing is in the room healing is in the room and so if you want prayer and you're just feeling that man miracles is happening miracles is happening healing is happening you can come we're gonna have some of the ministers well we'll keep kind of playing or whatever and some of you ministers will come on up and uh man avail yourself just Ask them what they need, what they need prayer for, and we're just gonna pray, Amen. I just believe that. I just feel that right now. God just wants to move. God wants to move. All those words of confirmation, all those uh, prophetic words, all just align together. So, Amen. Amen. We are. you don't just feel like you have the strength to get up to come but you really want to come and you need that prayer just raise your hand we could come to you okay sister Lakita raised her hand out in the um, foyer if we can have some ministers okay sister Tanger. Come on, he's moving. 
moving right now. Miracles happen when you move. Healing is coming in this room. Miracles happen when you move. Heaven is coming. Come on, miracle. Thank 
you, Lord. Set our hearts, Lord. Set our hearts on you. Come and do. Come and do what you do. Cause we need a move. Yes, Lord.
writers in here that needs to start writing? We have psalmists in here that need to start singing. We have ministers in here that needs to start preaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. that's on your mind that you need God to do for you we just moving as the spirit moves you could come up here to the altar we could come to you but if there's some things that you want God and you've been waiting for God to do we can touch and agree in the name of Jesus we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on in just we a minute. Move, but we're yeah. gonna let's just come on. Let's just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Tedra. Sister Tedra. Hallelujah. Okay. So we are in a place where miracles can happen. The same God that dried the Red Sea is the same God that we serve today the same God that allowed them to be delivered and walk over the Jordan River is the same God that we serve today so I was listening this morning as the Lord was ministering to me before I came to church and I was listening to R.W. Shambach and he was talking about A.A. Um, A. Allen and being at his meetings and he talked about this lady who came and gave a $20 faith offering. She traveled, she had no money, but her son was sick and he could not see. He was four years old, he couldn't see. He had little thumbs for feet, he couldn't walk and she held him in his hand because she believed that God couldn't heal her son at that moment. With her little $20, she brought it up. And A.A. A. A. Allen said, I see a road trip. And R.W. Steinbach was like, here we go on another road. But he let him talk. That lady came up. And he said, I got, what God has 26 miracles for you today. Those 26 miracles were for her son because he had 26 illnesses described by the doctor. Our W. Schombach describes how he saw the boy eyes. He could not see, but there was glass like um, milk began to come over his eyes and his eyes began to change. The numbs on his foot began to grow. He saw this young man. He could not talk. He was mute. Thank you, Jesus. He was able, by the end of all of this, he was able to see. Thank you, Lord. He was able to walk. Thank you, Jesus. He was able to see his mother for the first time. And he was able to walk to her for the first time. He was able to say, Mama, for the first time. As it was spoken today, some things will be birthed if you reach for it. If you believe, it will be your first time of receiving. Your first time of God giving you what you have desired because you believed it. After that, people began to get up out of their seats. 
the, 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 what they used to hear when they began to come out because pe- this is an atmosphere for miracles yeah. if you believe it you shall receive it in the name of Jesus we are impelling you to receive your miracle today hey. Thank hallelujah you.
just so overwhelmed by you just coming in and coming through father god and just showing out allowing your sweet spirit to fill this room lord lord we just ask father god that it just continues father god that you just continue to have your way father god with the service father god with your people lord yes lord father god even when we come forward with this offering father god we ask lord jesus that you just bless both the gift and the giver that you increase it and use it for your kingdom building father god and Lord, right now we say that every debt is canceled, yes. every bill is paid, our bodies are healed, our minds are regulated, our families are restored, 
the devil is defeated and we are above all in Jesus name. I'm just going to give our announcements um, sisters save the date June 23rd through the 25th is the women of valor conference excess love if you missed it last year, well, you won't want, don't want to miss it this year. We're going to have phenomenal speakers, tearjerker testimonies, lots of praise and fellowship. So please mark your calendars and come out. Also, we're going to be having a sweatsuit Sunday, February 5th. Come in your favorite sweatsuit. on your sweatsuits and shirts. Also, um, we ask that you be mindful of your apparel. Um, ladies, you know. That it's not too tight. It's tonight too tight. <laughs> um, men also, make sure that you dress appropriately. Um, this is something we want to do um, once a month. We want to have like a, a spirit week Sunday where we have different themes. Um, so, what you wear if you have any questions um see sister jan oh. <laughs> i mean i'm your up here i'm your apparel <laughs> and i want to put this out there i hope i don't get in trouble they can get me later but if you want graphics christian culture if, is that the name of the company right that's sister jamika sister katika they can put the graphics the god saying it's inspirational graphics on your sweatshirt sweatpants let's come on in and rock it February 5th February 5th come on let's praise him
Before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing. Let's hear you say, let's hear you say, yo! Come like a rush, come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Hey, come like, can you feel that? Hey, hey, come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Hey, can you feel that? Can you feel that? Hey, hey, come like a rushing wind. Hey, Never before. I'm like away. Never hey, before. like a rushing wind. Hey, like hey. Like never before. I'm hey, like never before. Like a rushing wind. Like hey, like never before. I'm like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing wind. Hey, like never before. Hey, like a rushing
He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, Lord. Oh, no, 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? The presence of God is so tangible in this place. I don't want you to miss it this morning. Don't miss it this morning. I want you to stand and go to somebody real quick. Somebody that you that you haven't greeted before. Somebody that you haven't spoken. Somebody that's not part of your household. Just go to somebody real quick. You see, God has showed me yesterday while I was shaving. Funny how God works sometimes. But while I was shaving, I had a wound. Keep it there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a rushing wind. I'm like never before. I'm like a rushing wind. I hear you say it. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like never before. Can we say it together? Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. 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 Hey, come like a rushing wind. Hey, come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Hey, come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like a rushing. 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 Yeah. Come like a rushing. Some of us to mess up in here. Hey, 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 hey. Come like a rushing. Hey, let's do it one more time. Let's do it all. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Say, come like a rushing wind. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. You say. Come like never before. Come like a rushing Come like never before. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Hey. Come like never before. One more time, say. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. They don't wanna stop. Come like never before. Come like a rushing wind. Hey, hey. Come like never before. Okay, okay. So if you found your person, if you found your person, if you found your person, we're gonna pray together real quick. Just give me. So, 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 as I was standing in the bathroom yesterday, I shaved in the week and I cut myself. And, 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 and yesterday I shaved again. And I cut myself on the same spot. And God gave me this revelation as I was. It's funny how God works when you're in the bathroom. But I, I cut myself on the same spot. And, some, and God is saying this morning that some of us go open up wounds that have been closed before. We go back to the same place to open up that wound. But God has already set us free. Now that's not my word, but I wanted to release it unto you this morning. Don't go back to the place. Don't go back to Lodiba. Don't go back to Egypt. Don't go back to the same place that the enemy has kept you from. Exceeding and excelling. Don't go back. Turn to three people and say, don't go back. So, so, so we're going to pray if you found your partner. If you found your partner this morning, I want you to pray into that partner's life. You, we, you, you see, we are so comfortable with, with finding people that we are so used to. 
But God wants to break that thing and He wants to bring unity among the brethren. You see, where there's unity, the flow of God can happen. Where there's unity, He commands, eh? When there's unity, He commands, eh? Bless. Okay, let me say that in American. When there's unity, God commands, eh? Thank you, Jesus. I had to take my American tongue out there. But let's pray. Let's pray real quick before I go into the word. I actually don't want to don't want to touch this 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 presence this anointing this morning uh, I, I i actually don't even want to preach because of what god is about to do and what ha- he has done in this way. place this morning maybe i way. should leave this till next week let him use you let him use me thank you jesus uh, let's pray let's pray pray to that person's life hallelujah Riba baba sakataba Ondo lorobo shikaba Rebe bebe sikama Raba baba sakataba sikama Londo bo shoko do bo shikama In Jesus name we pray for breakthrough Father we pray Lord that you take us out of that place and that mindset of going back going back to the old things going back to the things that we feel we are used to Take us out of it this morning take us out of the pit in the mighty name of Jesus you have called us as a royal nation a nation to to take dominion a, a nation that will take right now Lord your kingdom further in the mighty name of Jesus I pray and release it over your people right this now, morning Lord. in Jesus name yes Lord in Jesus name 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 you see that the, the, the enemy flees when he hears the name of Jesus come on, come on somebody hey. Hey. Oh, thank you Jesus thank you Lord for breakthrough in this place this morning thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord demons flee when they hear the name of Jesus atmosphere shifts when they hear the name of Jesus situations change when they hear the name of Hey, I'm telling you, I, I, I've been running on an empty tank and the lights, the light went on. I was in reserve, but, but when my car heard the name of Jesus. And some of us are running on reserve, but I declare the name of Jesus in your life this morning. In Jesus name. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. I'm going to be real quick. My wife usually tells me I mustn't say that because that's the first sign of a lie. (laughs) But I want to thank everybody uh, for the opportunity. I firstly want to thank uh, Pastor Pastor and Lady (laughs) Ash. Uh, Let let us give them a hand. Great leaders. Leaders that are still learning and and, and have a a humble spirit to still want to learn. Uh, 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 sometimes you, you sit under leadership where you don't even have a choice or a say but here we have the freedom and the liberty to be open uh, uh, to share with one another and to learn from one another uh, and then I want to thank everybody watching online we, we're getting professional here amen I want to thank everybody online this morning if you can see me if you can hear me if you can zoom in on me and on my mouth I, I want to put this blessing over you this morning you, that while you're watching you will feel the presence of God yes. you will feel the move of God I, 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 I know that you even felt it in our worship this morning but I know God is about to do something in your life this morning I want to yes, thank yes. my parents uh, is online can you say hello everybody to my parents <laughs> and everybody from uh, South Africa watching this morning I am originally from South Africa if you have not heard uh, my accent uh, by now, um, but I can switch it up. 
I can be American too. I can switch it up. Uh, let us go to uh, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you there, say amen. amen. If you still looking, say wait, man. Second Corinthians 10. We're going to read from 4. Amen. 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 Let's read together. Uh, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4, it says, For the weapons, somebody say weapons, weapons. of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing, somebody say every high thing, every high thing. that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Now, now I know you notice I, I, I might be dressed a bit different this morning because I am ready for war. Thank you, Brother Jerry. <laughs> I am ready for war. Yeah. Is somebody ready for war? Amen. Now, now I, I don't mean war in, in, in the physical because we like to get physical like that. Oh, you looking at me like that? Do you know who I am? We like to get physical like that, but, but, but I'm speaking about spiritual weapons. Our secret weapons found in our secret places or place. Within the context of, of, of this text, Paul is being judged upon his character from the church of God. Sometimes we point finger to one another within the body of Christ. Where we need to come into unity so that God can, can command or command a blessing. But we're pointing finger and we want to ask questions and we want to. But God wants to command a blessing over us. This morning, uh, 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 as, as our leadership came, came together, I, 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 I blessed the Lord because of the scripture Pastor used, and I want to go there real quick. Psalms 133. Yeah. 33. <laughs> Let me say that right. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren. To dwell together in unity. in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head. Running down on the beard. The beard of Aaron running down on the edge. I, I, you know, when I, when, I, when I read that part, I think of, of Brother Keith Maley. I think he has the, the, the most amount of beard in, in the house of the Lord. Is it, is it <laughs> but, but, but oil running down from the top. To the bottom. Running down on Aaron's beard. Running down on the edge of his garments. Meaning that there's no stop to it. There, there's an overflow of the oil. Yes, yes. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. Somebody say Zion. Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing life forevermore. That's so strong. That is so strong. Help us this morning, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get used to this Mac, Mac situation here. So, so I, was, uh, I was using a Samsung uh, Android. And, and uh, as pa Pastor says, I got delivered. I'm using an iPhone now. So I'm, 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 uh, pray for me. Pray, I'm saved. I'm saved. 
For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity. We need to bring the th our thoughts into captivity. Uh, uh, Paul says that we are, are, are prisoners of this gospel. So, so, so using a word like captivity uh, in, in a sense of, of, of benefit uh, uh, um, astonishes me a bit. Because, because if, if he's using a word as prisoners, if we are prisoners, we are tied to this thing. It, it means that you have, uh, when, when you've come to this, the, the point of salvation, you have given yourself over to a life sentence. You have given yourself over to a life sentence in running this thing until the end. Now, sometimes we get weary. Sometimes we get weak. Sometimes we want to give up. Sometimes we look at all these situations around us. And just want to give in. But we don't realize the weapons that we carry can combat the very thing or the very situation that we are faced with right now. Sometimes I just need to open up my mouth and start speaking in tongues. You see, uh, nobody needs to understand it in my household, but as long as God understands it. As long as I'm confusing the enemy. The enemy is so used to our, our, our normal tongue. He knows what we're going to say. He knows what we're going to think. You see, the greatest battles we faced is in our... And so, uh, we, 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 this is something that we are so used to. Wars are, so, are nothing new. If we go to, to, to the book of Jer uh, Jericho, if we go to uh, the, the, the book of... Uh, Chronicles. Man, come on. Mac. <laughs> if we go to the book of Joshua, thank you. We see the walls of Jericho. Uh, 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 they, they had to use strategy. And, and sometimes God's strategy does not make sense to us. Have you ever uh, uh, came across a time where, where, where you maybe drove or, or walked somewhere and God said, uh, right now, don't turn that way, go this way. Yeah. And it did not make sense to you. But, but, but later on, you saw in the news that there was a major accident at the, 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 the very place that you were supposed to turn. Yeah. It's because of the hand of God upon your life. Yeah. And the strategies that God used. God is strategic in everything that he does. Yeah. It might not make sense to you. He says, my ways are, are not your ways. My thoughts are, are not your thoughts. It is not yours. We, we find that, that God used the, uh, the Israelites or Judah to walk around the city for seven days. Once every day around the city. This is, was a, a, a huge city. But he, they walked around it in order for the walls to come down. Sometimes we need to walk around in our households for walls to come down. Sometimes I need to walk outside around my house for walls to come down. For things to be broken in the spirit. We go to uh, the, uh, Joshua 7, 8. We, we, we see that God revealed to Joshua that there was sin in the camp. God hates sin. And so sin prohibits us from our blessing. Can I get an amen? amen? A man named Achan had taken gold and silver and garments from Jericho. According to God's plan, all the spoils from Jericho were to be dedicated to God. They were to be dedicated by, to God. Sometimes we want to take the blessings of somebody else. As believers, we're fighting physical battles instead of physical battles. For our weapons of warfare are not... We cannot fight in the spirit anymore. Uh, we cannot fight in the physical. Sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. In, in the book of Judges, we see that Gideon... God chose Gideon to fight against the Midianites. 
But now, but not how Gideon thought he would. God cho he chose 32,000. God said, that's too much. You're going to a small city. He had to let 22,000 go. Now imagine going to battle and, 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 and your greatest weapon is the men you carry. Sometimes we think our greatest battle is our friend that, that's with us. I know my girlfriend is going to back me in this. I know my, 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 my friend is going to back me in this. Sometimes we take the, 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 the worst weapons to our spiritual fights because we think in carnality. God said no. Like Elder says no, no, no. Elder, Elder Don, no. Did I pull that off? <laughs> God said, uh, uh, he said 10,000, 10,000 so soldiers. God said, said wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's still too much. That's still too much. L take them to, to, to some water. Water speaks of life. Uh, and, 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 and he took them to some water and, and or water and, and God said, because <laughs> I, I, I saw you lost the, for, for a moment there, uh, water. Uh, and, 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 and as they were drinking, God said, watch this. Those that are watching while they're drinking are the ones that you take. You see, we need to be vigilant in a season of, of attack. We need to be vigilant in a season of war. We need to come to a place of, of serving God in spirit and in truth. So that we know when, when the enemy comes in like the flood, God will raise up a standard, but there's a strategy that I need to use. David and Goliath makes no sense, no sense at all. But David took that little thing and he swung that thing and it hit him right in the forehead. Does it make sense? Most of the things that God does, does not make sense. But it makes sense to him. I want to tell you this morning that we need to come back to the place of prayer. This is our spiritual weapon yes, yes. and if I, I haven't given my title yet my title this morning is this means war okay. can you say that with me say it with some mm. this, this means, means war. war it makes me think back uh in our, our south african history we have a a chief uh called shaka zulu this was the very first wakanda and, and these things that you're seeing right now, this is way back. And, and, and he used a strategy in order to combat the enemy. It might have been confusing to his army, but he knew what he was doing. God says that I am the potter, potter, you are the clay. Mold me and make me in your way, Lord. But sometimes we step out of the, 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 the little machine that God uses to make you. The potter's will. Sometimes we jump off the potter's will because we want to mold and shape ourselves. Somebody read this morning, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper. Why do I make my own plans if he has a plan for me? Where's my faith at? Uh, uh, one of my favorite scriptures is uh, First or Second Chronicles 5 or 7. I will walk by, sight, uh, uh, walk by faith and not by sight. I won't walk by what I see. The very fact that I'm standing here this morning is by walking by faith. It did not make sense to us, others. It does not need to make sense to others. It just needs to make sense to you and God. And so Shaka Zulu, he used the tactic called the buffalo. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm getting it all the way right. I just scrolled through this thing and, and saw this uh, uh, magnific magnificent style of attack. And, 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 Cherise, come here quick. Uh, Jay, 
uh, Andre. And, and, and his style of attack was called the, the, the buffalo or the bull. It, it, it symbolized the bull's horns. 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 Corn. Horn. <laughs> and, and, and so, so, so when the enemy come, you see, uh, he was defeated all the time. Every time he went to battle, he was defeated. And so he came up with a new plan. When you see that you are being attacked by, by, by the same devil with a new trick or with an old trick using at the same time over and over against you, you need to come up with something new in order to show him that you mean business. This means war. And so, so when, 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 when the attackers came, I want you to, to, to one come this way, one come, and one stay that side. And so, so when, when, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm, I'm a, I'm an actor by, 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 uh, I love acting. So that's one of my, my things. <laughs> and so when the enemy came, they came charging towards them and encircled them and encamped them and destroyed them. They, he, he destroyed them by the way he attacked. Uh, the, the Bible says in, thank you very much. Give them a hand. Thank you. Thank you. The Bible says in Mark 9, uh, we, we, we had the scripture in the week. In Mark 9, that, 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 that uh, uh, a man came and he brought his son. His son was, was sick and, and ill and, and, and had some demons and, and, and things. And, and, and they brought him out. Uh, to, to, to where Jesus was at. And they said, Jesus, uh, uh, I brought this boy to, to your disciples. And, and, and they couldn't deliver him. The, and, and Jesus said, oh, you have little faith. Where is your faith? He said, this kind can only come out by prayer and fasting let me tell you something this morning it has been a challenging road thus far but we have been on a or still are on a 40 day fast right now i'm standing here did you hear my stomach right there but this kind you see what happened here this morning isn't just something that happened it came by prayer and by fasting and unity. The disciples tried some tricks. They were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> nothing worked. This kind can only come out by prayer and fasting. This is our secret weapon. When we go to our secret place, we need to find our secret weapon to combat the enemy. Turn to three people and say, this means war. This means war. <laughs> war. Waging war is a common practice. In fact, countries sometimes get into physical altercation because of what was said and who said it. This is nothing new. But beyond what we can see, there's an ongoing war in the heavenly realm. A war over who gets you. Do you realize the power that you carry? When, when Christ died on the cross, he said, it is for my children. You carry a mark on you. In Revelation, uh, Revelations, he says, I'm, I'm, I will give you a new name. A new mark, not the mark of the beast. That's right, that's right. A, a mark that, that only heaven can identify. Sometimes we get attacked by things that, we, that is unidentifiable because we are not in the spirit. We need to get back into the place of God and walking in the spirit. Uh, uh, John, in the book of Revelations... Uh, one, I think one or two, it says that John was found at Patmos, but he was in the spirit. He was found at a place of destruction, but he was in the spirit. 
He was found at a place that was devastated, but he was in the spirit. He was found at a place that looked like there was no hope, but he was in the spirit. He was found at a place that, that he didn't know what, what next, what, Lord, how now? But he was in the spirit. We need to come back to the place of worship, true worship. You see, the devil is ready to wage war with you. He's prepared to kill you. He's prepared to steal from you. He's prepared to destroy you. But because of your level, he has to think twice. He knows what you carry. He knows the weapon sets him up for defeat. You see, some of us fight from a place of defeat. Change your strategy. You need to fight from a place of victory. You need to fight from a place of victory. Because God has won the battle 2,000 years ago. When he, when he conquered the cross. When he conquered the grave. Oh, when he ascended to the sky. And he said, I will be on the right hand of the Father. Fighting for you. Interceding for you. You have already won the battle. Our weapons is used to cast down, meaning dismantle, take apart, demolish, to crush. The devil is under your feet. If we go to Joshua 6, 1 to 21, we see the destruction of, of the walls came tumbling down because of the weapons they carried. It is used to bind and to loosen. Matthew 18, 18 speaks about it. Surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth, is bound in heaven. God has made a pact with you. He said, whatever you bind on earth. You see, you are my weapon on the earth. I, 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 yes, you are my weapon on the earth. Let me not go there. You are my weapon on the earth. And God wants to use you to take dominion. Are we taking dominion? Are we taking dominion? Dominion means... That wherever I am at, I will share this gospel. Dominion means wherever I'm at. I don't care if it's in a, a, a toilet or, 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 or at my workplace. I will pray for you. You know, I was on, on set. I, I used to uh, work in the movie industry. I'm, I'm actually a very famous actor, you know. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> but I used to work in the movie industry and... and, and one day I was on set and, and it's always great finding somebody of the same belief on set. Uh, because Hollywood is something else. We know what Hollywood is about. But they know what we're about. That's why they are afraid of our weapons. And, and, and this girl came over to me and she said, I, you know, I see something in you. you just, there's just something different about you. Can I pray for you? I mean, we are on set, the cameras are on us, and, and, and everybody's around us. We're about to shoot the scene, and she's like, Rabba Shaka Base Kete Besi Yamasaka. She started praying for me, uh, uh, despite of her surroundings, because she is not afraid of this gospel. I am a slave to Christ, I am a prisoner of Christ. And I will use my weapons according to what God has given me. The dominion I shall take. I will take dominion in the earth. It is used to bring down pride. One of the greatest things that we struggle with sometimes. Pride. All of us go through it. We find a different type of pride outside of these walls. And outside of the church too. It's pride. Bringing down the pride of the foolish. Pride comes before the fall. Bringing even thoughts under the subjection and authority of Christ. Just because, just because we have entered a new year doesn't mean the devil went on leave. It doesn't mean that he has taken a break. It does not mean that he went to the beach. With all these little demons. And they are just enjoying themselves in uh, 
What's the place? Hawaii? <laughs> or Bahamas? It does not mean that the, the devil is out to kill and to steal and to destroy us. He's waiting for your next move. But you know what? I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Of the devil and his attacks. That's why I call this thing, this means war. Because I'm ready to stand up and come up against the attacks of the enemies. You see, when you have a strategy, I have a strategy. When you have an attack, I have an attack. When you have a weapon, I have a weapon. We have our weapons of warfare to combat, combat his attacks. If we go to the book of Nehemiah or Nehemiah, this is powerful. I'm going to read from four. You don't need to go there. Uh, or it's from six. So we built the wall, wall, and the entire wall was joined together up to half its height. For the people had a mind to work. Now it happened. Uh, let me stop right there. Is there anybody that has a mind to work? That was so good. That was so good. Now it happened when Sanballat, Tobiah and the Arabs, the Ammonites, the Ashdodites and the Salulites heard the walls of Jerusalem were being destroyed or restored and the gaps, <laughs> and the gaps were beginning to be closed that they became very angry. You see, your enemy is so angry at you because of what? He's actually angry at us for what happened here this morning. There was deliverance in this place. People were set free in this place. He's never happy with us. And they became very angry. And all of them conspired together to come and attack Jerusalem and create confusion. You must know that the moment you feel confused, it's an attack. I'm going to say that again. The moment you feel confused, it's an attack. Because God has not given us a, 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 a spirit of fear. Because fear happens when we have confusion. We don't know what, 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 what next. What next role? What? We start asking questions and start being crazy like that. But He's not given us a spirit of fear. But of a sound mind. Knowing that Lord when you move, I move. When you go, I go. He said, I will bless you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the... You are blessed when you come. Why don't we stand on the promises of God? Nevertheless, we made our prayer to God. I'm going to say that again. Nevertheless, we made our... Prayer is a weapon of warfare. And because of them, we set watch against them day and night. Then Judah said, the strength of the laborers is falling and there is so much... Rubbish. They were, they were uh, 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 starting, starting to, 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 to feel confused because they looked at their surroundings. I want to tell somebody this morning, stop looking at your surroundings. Stop looking at the rubbish around you. Yes, the walls may not be built yet, but it's fine. God has a plan for you. And there's so much rubbish that we are not able to build a wall. And our adversary said... They will neither know nor see anything till we come in their midst and kill them and cause their work to cease. Yeah. Ooh, boy. The enemy wants to seize your work. The enemy wants to seize your work. But we're not going to allow him this morning. We are standing up and declaring to the devil this morning that this means So it was when the Jews who dwelt near them came that they told us ten times, very specific, from whatever place you turn, they will be upon us. Therefore, I positioned, somebody say position, men behind the lower parts of the wall at the openings, and I set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears, their bows. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles, to the leaders, and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid. Turn to somebody and say, no, do not be afraid. 
Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. And it happened when our enemies heard that it was known to us, and that God had brought their plot to nothing. God will bring their plot to nothing. Whatever the enemy has plotted against you, he will bring it to no weapon formed against me shall he will bring their plot to no weapon formed against me shall he will bring their plot to come on say it with conviction this morning no weapon formed against them shall he will bring their plot to nothing will come against you nothing 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 doesn't Whitney Houston sing that song is it she Nothing will stand against you. She was prophetic in that song. So it was from that time on that half of my servants worked at construction. <laughs> while the other half held the spears and shields. They were strategic in their working. They were strategic in their work. While they were working, they held their shields. 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 Hey, while they were working, they held their shields. And so when we come to a place of unity or unification or unifying the body of Christ, we will accomplish the work that he has set out before us. We will accomplish it together. This is, uh, as we said this morning, that, that, that the enemy luck loves to cause division. Yeah. Die vision. He wants you to die and have no vision. Yeah. Woo! Did you feel that? <laughs> he wants you to die and have no vision. But we have watchmen on the wall at the Father's Heart Ministries. We have intercessors that are waiting for a prayer. Waiting for requests. To make the request known. Let, let me finish off. Uh, they built the wall on the wall. And those who carry burdens loaded themselves. So that with one hand they worked at construction. And with the other hand they held the weapon. Every one of the builders had his sword girded at his side as he built. And the one who sounded the trumpet was beside me. You see, we need to release a sound into the heavenly realm. There's a sound. For instance, let's start clapping hands. That's a sound. That's a sound. It sounds like angels flapping their wings. Now start shouting unto the Lord. That's a sound. That's a sound. That's a sound of victory. Wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us. Our God will fight for us. The battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. I'm going to go to my last text. And then we're going to close this thing. This is one of my favorite stories in the Bible because it shows me how to attack. It shows us how to use our weapons. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. Somebody say, seek the Lord. Seek the, Lord. the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. Uh, sometimes we seek the other things instead of the kingdom. We think the kingdom is out, without, outside of the kingdom of the real kingdom of God outside is not a kingdom it's a mockery set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah somebody say fast, fast. we'll be going on a week-long fast uh, starting tomorrow if anybody wants to join us I actually Amen. I had to look around at Papa. <laughs> Big Papa. <laughs> pa 
Papa. <laughs> but we, we will be going as, as a body of Christ, as ministers, and we, we want to open this up to, to, uh, to the congregation. There's God in this. Uh, he said in Mark 9 that this kind cannot come out without prayer and fasting. If you are trusting God for something and somebody's life, if you're trusting God for your child's life to be to change, if you're trusting God for your finances to change, uh, I know we like that word finances when we speak about the finances and the blessings, but if you're trusting God for those things, if you're trusting God for healing upon your body, brother G Gary, I declare healing upon your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If we are trusting God for these things, test God in this. We will be starting our fast starting uh, tonight at 12 or tomorrow night at 12. Tonight at 12 through to 4 p.m. Amen. Amen. Every day until Friday, we will be going, we 40 days, we we going big. Um, but they proclaimed the fast throughout all Judah. I'm just going to read parts. Verse 9 says, a disaster comes upon us. Sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. In his presence, that is where I find my peace. In his presence, that is where I find revelation. In his presence, that's where he opens up the deeper things unto me. In his presence, he will show me heavenly things and allow me to hear a heavenly sound. In his presence... Is anybody ready to find themselves in the presence of God? Amen. For your name is in this temple. His name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. And cry out to you in our affliction. And you will hear and save. He will hear you and he will save you. Has the Lord ever uh, 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 let anybody... Um, Go through a trial and just leave, left, him, left you there? Has he ever? He has always taken you through it. Because when he gives you a test, you'll have a testimony. When he puts you in your mess, you'll have a message. You will have a message. He's putting you through it so that you can be a blessing unto others. Our God, oh our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against the great multitude that is coming against us. Jehoshaphat realized that this great army coming against him is, is, is way mightier, way stronger. They have tactics, they have weapons, they have better weapons, they have all of this stuff. But Jehoshaphat had God. Nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. Our eyes are upon you. David says, uh, I, will, I will lift my eyes unto the hills. My help comes from the Lord. Our help comes from the Lord. Uh, uh, verse 15. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid, nor dismayed because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. You, verse 17, you will not need to fight this battle. You see, this is the beauty of God. The moment we think we have to fight the battle is when we do not need to fight it. Because we went on our knees. He will fight on our behalf. When we have offered up our weapons unto Him and, and said, Lord, here's my prayer. Here's my fasting. You see my heart, Lord. Now it's in your hands. We sang the song in, in, uh, in uh, Sunday school. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his He's got you in his hands. That song is going to stick now. <laughs> he said in 17, you will not need to fight this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see. Stand still and see. I'm going to say that again. 
And I need somebody to get excited at this point. Stand still and see. You see, the fact that he's saying stand still and see is you are taking your eyes off the very battle that is coming towards you. The very army that is coming towards you. You need to stand still and see. And know that the Lord is with me. Position yourself, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. Verse 20, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. I'm going to read this one last verse. When Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies. And precious jewelry, which they stripped off, them, off for themselves, more than they could carry. And they were there three days. Somebody say three days. Three days. Gathering the spoil because there was so much. What God is about to do for you when you position yourself. When you come to a place. When you come to... A, a place of humility. When you put pride aside and say, Lord, here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all my mess. With all my flaws. Yes. With all my blemishes. Lord, I give it unto you this morning. Yeah. There's a battle awaiting, Lord, that I'm afraid of. But I trust you, Lord. Yes, yes. I trust that you will make a way yes. where there seems to be no way. I trust that you will open up the the, the, the floodgates of heaven and pour down your blessing upon me. I, 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 I trust that you will deliver me from this very battle. But it is coming to a place of positioning yourself and understanding that your weapons of warfare are not carnal. You don't need to fight this thing on your own. You just need God. You just need God. And so as we stand together this morning, I want you to open up your mouths this morning one more time. Hallelujah. One more time. And declare to Satan that this means war. Turn to your neighbor and say, this means war. Not against your neighbor, against Satan. Let's pray together this morning. And, and if you have a special prayer request this morning um, and you want to step forward, uh, we will have our ushers, our uh, intercessors and our ministers to pray for you this morning. If you are here for the first time or you want to give your life to the Lord this morning, the Bible says that heaven rejoices even if one soul comes to Him. And so, do not be afraid this morning. He's saying, let go and let God. If you want to make a change in your life this morning and say, Lord, here I am, come into my life. Now, I want to tell you that it's not going to get better. But with Jesus in my boat, I can smile at the storm. Knowing that God is with me and He will carry me through it. He says, place your weak hand into my strong hand. And I will carry you. He will carry your burdens for you. If you are that person this morning that says, Lord, I want to give my life to you. If you have backslidden from the Lord and say, Lord, I want to give my life back to you this morning. Please come with every eye closed, every head bowed. And if you just need prayer this morning, you don't even need to come for that. But if you just need prayer this morning, you can come. We're going to start praying together together or collectively as a body of Christ. And if you feel that, 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 that now is not the time or you might be afraid or shy, we want to create another avenue for you after service. We are able to pray for you, with you if you're feeling shy to come right now. We can pray with you wherever. I can take you wherever. Into, into the car. I don't want to take you into the bathroom. Uh, into the office. 
into the kiddies room wherever wherever you are, are, are feel comfortable amen let's pray together this morning father this morning we thank you we thank you for your word that has gone out we thank you for father for your atmosphere that has broken every chain in this place this morning father father right now we bind the works of satan over your people's lives we loosen father your presence your spirit your atmosphere father to shift our minds to renew our minds so that we can uh, come with a fresh wind father in the mighty name of jesus i pray father i pray lord that you have set us apart for a time such as this you have called us for a time such as this father to be the difference to make the difference i pray father that you have, will give us our strategic tools to combat the enemy you have showed us this morning what you 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 want us to use father i pray that you we apply this word unto our lives this morning as you say in your word that your your word cuts through bone and marrow and i pray father that your word cuts through every heart and heart this morning turn it into a heart of flesh we come up against the enemy that is trying to cause confusion over that mind here this morning father in the mighty name of jesus I pray, Father, and I thank you that our battles are already won. We can put our hands in you. We can put our trust in you. We can put our faith in you and know that you will carry us through the storm. You will not leave us, nor will you forsake us. Father, bless us as we wait upon your return. In the mighty name of Jesus and everybody that loves the Lord says, Amen. 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 You are... Let's, let's, let's uh, receive the blessing this morning. We now to receive, open up your hands. If somebody gives you something, you're not going to close your hand. Let's receive this morning. May the Lord bless you. May He keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up His countenance towards you and give you peace. May favor go before you this week. May the blessing of the Lord go before you this week. May the, the protection of the Lord go before you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody that loves the Lord says, Amen. 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 Hug, hug five people, ten people, a thousand people.